Okay. So, what do I have here? It's greasy, but it's clean. It is a Jonic TP9SA. Striker fired gun with a decocker that everyone's been whining about. And it only seems like a certain few people. Now, the only reviewer that's bitching about this, the only popular reviewer um, that's not Such Double Zero, it's not Nut and Fancy, it's not James Yeager, um, it's not Iraq uh, Veteran, it's just Yankee Marshall in his uh, entourage. But, I'm going to move the camera here so you can probably see better. <clears throat> I'm going to put it right in front of my chest. And hold the gun in front of, in front of so, it. So, I have two of these. This one has maybe 100 rounds through it. Um, this one is brand new. Maybe a week and a half, two weeks old. They're the same gun. Just different coloring. FDE. Um, and black. Um, so what I want to talk about today is, you know, I've done reviews on this gun. Um, let's take the magazine out. It's clear. It's got a chamber plug, so yes, this is going to be clear. No mag. It's clear. Okay, so <clears throat> what I wanted to talk about um, is this th these rants that are going on on, on YouTube regarding this gun uh, having a decocker and being single action striker fire gun. <clears throat> so this gun is charged, the striking indicator showing that uh, <clears throat> the striker is enabled. I want to show you how this can be so <clears throat> one of the myths of this decocker is that is that it only activates when pressed directly in the middle that's not true if you see here it's got texturing on this side and on this side and in the middle I guess it's supposed to mimic the, the actual radius here uh, or this this texture going along the top of the uh, slide, but you just saw I I press it on the side it decocks. I press it in the middle it decocks. Now it won't decock like uh, at a uh, like, like a uh, an indirect angle on the side. It did that time because I used majority of my thumb pad. So. It's not gonna, it's gotta be directly pressed, pretty much. And on top of that, it re that's a, takes a certain effort to decock this. It's not loose by any means. <clears throat> that's at least 10 pounds of pressure, at very least. So, this gun, in my opinion, is not going to be accidentally decocked. Um, the chances are very slight to none. I mean, you probably will get struck by lightning um, before this decocks accidentally. And how many people out there have been struck by lightning that are on YouTube posting stuff like that? Probably none. Um, also as well, before I believe Everything I read on the internet about this gun and its decocker, I will certainly want to see a real world use case that proves that this decocker on a single action striker fired gun is bad. And it would have to be repeated. Just because you read it on the internet and just because there is a very remote chance of something happening doesn't what, what's mean that to prevent it will. someone from accidentally hitting the magazine button when they're pulling it out when a bad guy is confronting them nothing nothing whatsoever 
Training is going to keep you from pressing the wrong things. You get used to your gun. You realize what state it's in. If you want to carry it cocked, go ahead and carry it cocked. Just make sure you have a, a holster that covers the trigger. And it might be wise to find a holster that covers a decocker as well. If that's what's bugging you about There is also another variant of this gun. I believe it's the SF model that does not have the decocker. Wait until that comes out. Get that gun. You know what? The thing about guns is there's no one size fits and all. Everyone is taking their opinions and applying it to the internet at large. Just because you don't like the fact that there's a decocker on this gun doesn't mean that it's not useful as a defense. If you're carrying a Glock, you can carry If you're gun. doing things that might enable the decocker, Maybe you should stop doing those things. If you're mud wrestling or if you're kind of just shooting this shit and, and your buddies are, you know, you're, you're, you're roughhousing and stuff. Hey, and, and, uh, and the decocker engages, maybe stop doing that activity if it's happening a lot. Um, but to be honest, I think that most of the people that are complaining about the decocker have never even touched this gun. So I've showed you that. <clears throat> it's pretty stiff. It's very difficult to kind of show that. Maybe uh, it might involve uh, getting someone to use one of those trigger uh, gauges to press down on this. This is not something the bad guy is going to trigger when he's, you know, if he happens to get a hold of you and, and fight for the gun. But to be honest, let's say if he does that, uh, would you blame the gun on doing that? Or would you blame yourself for not being situationally aware enough and you let that guy get close enough to you to to get hands on your gun can't really blame the gun for that because really if he can do that then he can press this as well